this is kind of weird as a Christmas special or holiday special, whichever one you want to say. But it seems every year, uh, Transformers decides to give us awesome sales for Christmas. Last year, it was the vintage Beast Wars reissues. I really wish they did that this year so I get Scorponok for like $5, like I did Megatron or Optimus. But oh well. Uh, this time, they are doing... The Buzzworthy Bumblebee Creature Collide Pack, which, it looks cool. I actually liked it a lot better than the Worlds Collide, because really, out of the four, I mean, Nemesis Primal is a cool concept, but it's a made-up character, I don't care. Hangry, or Fangry, which one, I'm sorry, <laughs> that goes to show how much I care about that character. Um, the Toy Accurate Black Rackney, which is cool, but I don't really need it, and the only reason I'd want it is... So that my actual Black Arachnia, the show one, has the correct legs. Do I really want to be paying like $90 for that? Oh, and also probably the laziest Bumblebee repaint I've ever seen in my life. It's just the clip. It's the cliff jumper mold, but yellow and with a Bumblebee head. That's what people thought the Earthrise Bumblebee was going to be. But no, that's... Eh, Worlds Collide kind of sucked. Wasn't interested in. Granted, if they made the Bumblebee a hubcap... Or, not hubcap, bubble, bumble jumper, giving a new head sculpt. Now, that would have been worth it, but, yeah. But this is pretty cool. All four of these, while I'm not too into all of them, like, I like them, but none of them are like, wow, I need to get it. So, that's such a put it off getting this set. And then, all of a sudden, it went from 70 or $80 to 30 So, yeah, definitely worth it. Very nice. And it's already technically like a good value for money. It's like twenty dollars eighty dollars, seventy for four deluxes. Well, they're kinda tiny, but I mean still. So we're gonna be ranking and talking a little bit about all four of them, and we're gonna go from least favorite to favorite. Okay, so we're gonna start off with my least favorite, and this is one that I think everyone can agree on is kind of the weakest. And that's Skywops, Skywasp, Wops. Yeah, there you go. And granted, it's not a bad mold by any means. The mold itself is excellent. It's not a bad release, but I mean, it's just black and purple Waspinator. Apparently, it's part of like five Waspinator repaints. Don't remember if it was the original mold or the Generations one, but now we have one in Kingdom and. It's fine, doesn't want to stand for some reason, but it's alright. I mean, there's not, really, there's not much to say. The legs are more annoying than ever, but other than that, <laughs> it's just the mold I've gotten before, but as better characters. Um, one cool thing about all these figures is that they have interchangeable heads, and the heads are much more loosely connected, so they come off very easily. So that's the, I guess, the mutant head. Right there. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, look at me. Look at me! Alright. And this is the, the normal head. I'm not going to drop it this time because my first take, I just and I dropped it underneath the drawer and it went deep. But we'll, we'll check this out. We'll, we'll, we'll swap the heads. We won't transform it, particularly with one figure, which is hard to transform. But, oh, there you go. I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt. I mean, it looks fine, but, like, the color-wise, it's just Buzzsaw. Oh. And I partic I don't really like this head sculpt at all. The mutant head's way better, and, come on, it's Waspinator. It fits Buzzsaw, because Buzzsaw's, like, boring Waspinator. Um, I know, I don't really like Buzzsaw, but, I mean, I still kind of have to get it. It's one of the original three repaints, along with Tigatron Black Rachnia, so... It it it's pretty much the same thing, except he's got red eyes and... Blue. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the uh, the other head. I mean, it just doesn't. F I don't know anything about this character. I mean, it's a cool color scheme. I'm definitely glad to have it, but I could have gone my life without having it. Not a bad figure. Not a bad mold. Not a bad release. Just less exciting than the other ones. Let's just say. And the next one we got is, um, I'm going to go with good old Venom. This isn't Venom. 
This is Ransack. You fucking dildo. I actually made a joke when I saw this release. I was like, oh, someone tell Thew Adams we got a new uh, Venom. And nobody got my joke. Let me change that. Let me correct that. Nobody cared about my joke. So, yeah. But, I mean, it's cool to have a new Ransack. I mean, it is just very much the kickback. But, I mean... They were pretty much similar anyways. They weren't 100% perfect. Like, for instance, he had, like, the abdomen, which he does have, but you can't really use it. Um, these wings, like, were attached to the back. Maybe some different body details, but I don't think it really matters. And then the, the bug legs were on the back. That's pretty much it. Um, but it's actually a very solid figure. I actually think it feels better than... Uh, my kickback, which had a couple of QC joint issues, but this guy feels nice and solid. He feels very solid. They all do, but I mean, this guy especially. Although I will say, probably comes with my least favorite alternate head. At first I was just like, why does he come with a kickback? But this is a toy accurate kickback head, which would be cool, but this guy is not designed... For swappable heads, despite how loose mine initially was, I had to use, the, like, the joint elixir. So let's just go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. That's not wanting to come off either. Okay. Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't want to... Oh, boy. Should probably not make To Catch a Predator references and Transformers. Uh, I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to, but it's not wanting to come off, so. Sorry. You will have to stay as Ransack. Ransack. I know, such a tragedy. It does also come with this, which are dual swords, but you can plug them in to be the abdomen in insect mode. Unfortunately here, it just doesn't work. I wish it did, but it doesn't, because that would make him differentiate himself from kickback a little bit more. Which is nice. But overall, again, really clever repaint. I like it. I could always go for some more Ransack. Okay, so now it's time to go to the top two figures. And this one's going to be a bit harder to choose. And it's going to be a bit controversial. But you know what? I got to say it. Oh, get this out of the way. Goldbug is not my favorite of the set. Which is weird. Goldbug is a really cool character. It's... uh. We all know Bumblebee, good old classic G1 Bumblebee, the small guy. And then I think he died and then became Goldbug. I don't remember if he actually died or not. Yeah, that guy right there. <laughs> I didn't even have to focus on that. So, <clears throat> I... And we also get access to the Volkswagen mold. And this might be my favorite mold in Earthrise, although I'm not saying much because... Well, Earthrise was definitely the weakest of the three. Can we all agree? No? Oh, well, shame. Um, is basically the same as my Bumblebee, <clears throat> but I do a couple of differentiate, I do differentiate him from my actual Bumblebee in two funny methods, because it's just giving him what he has. First off, everyone always does this for the backpack. I don't, because that feels really cheating. It's like, uh, you just take this piece off and you put it on the back, whereas at least with this, you can pretend, well, not only does it give him a cleaner back, more accurate. I mean, he's still got wheels, but whatever. He's actually got a back. Not only that, you could argue it's a weapon. Notice I didn't say good. But, you know. But he had a big backpack. In fact, you can actually... Let me see if I can get this around. Plug that back in. And uh, maybe that's a little too high, but that differentiates him a little bit from Bumblebee. Also... I usually give him like just a part of the gun, whereas he gets the big bazooka. Now, I know this is a cliff jumper thing, but I mean, Goldbug is Bumblebee's Raichu, so I mean, I think he's allowed to have the big weapon be a bit bigger, a bit stronger, a bit scarier. I definitely get a close up of that head, because he doesn't come with an alternate head, because he doesn't really need it. Um, that is definitely, well, it's Goldbug, but you could pass that off as like a toy accurate Bumblebee. Hopefully we get that later. Actually, I found out the reason they were allowed to use this mold is because they can use the mold, they just cannot use it as Bumblebee. So they're like, okay, it's Goldbug. I mean, it's technically Bumblebee, but it's not the same Bumblebee. Hopefully that runs out and we can get a 
a show a, a toy accurate version of this guy because that's my favorite iteration of Bumblebee, the the original the original toy. Yeah. So why is this guy not higher? Well, um, I'll tell you one major reason: transform transforming it, uh, getting these tabs into the legs is unbelievably difficult or harder than it should be. Also, this doesn't want to tab in. But most importantly, oh man, fuck this peg. I don't know what's wrong with this, but this peg is such an asshole. It looks loose right now, but once it gets in here, it gets really tight. And getting that out, man. Listen, this is my fourth time I have this mold, and this is the only time it's been hard. You know, this has been easy as hell. But this guy just doesn't want to do that. I don't know why his shoulder is like that. Apparently that's just a defect of this mold, I guess. Maybe mold degradation? Who knows? But yeah. Really nice to have it. Oh, one thing I'll say that's actually surprisingly good positive. He has less paint. I mean, the gold itself looks fantastic. Obviously, that goes without saying. But <sighs> there's things that aren't painted. Like, for instance, that's not painted. Um, where is it? The Volkswagen logo is not painted. The back's not painted. And the Autobot logo is up here. Now, why is that a good thing? Well, I've had this mold for quite a while, and it's paint chipped pretty badly. I mean, let's like, let's take a look at that. Yeah, paint's gone. It's also scuffed. Ew, he's been he's been through shit, but it's still the silver on there. It just looks bad. Same thing with that. Oh, that just looks bad. Looks bad. Oh, and also Autobots on the f logos on the foot. I think that's something accurate, but well, because you're having to remove it, you gotta rub your finger on that it that is the saddest autobot logo okay there you go that is the saddest autobot logo ever oh, it's okay we'll we'll get you a repro label i got something from shows store we'll we'll bring you back to as good as new don't you worry anyways yeah despite all of its minor qualms this gold bug is still really nice and i'm glad to have it and even though flipping out that peg is a fucking nightmare, it is worth it because the robot mode looks great and the Volkswagen mode is... I mean, the Volkswagen Beetle is my favorite car of all time. And I didn't get that from anyone, anyone's opinion. I just think it's really unique and fun and cool and small. And it's gold! Really nice. Unfortunately, there is another. It's kind of a weird pick for my favorite, but my favorite figure in the wave is Predacon Scorponok. I just really like the old toy of Scorponok, and this reference is really nice. Um, unfortunately, this dude's head is loose. Like, oh my god, I need to get some of that joint elixir on. It doesn't matter, I only got it back on for the review. But yeah, it definitely looks kind of plain right now, but that is a nice looking head right there. It's very show, very toy accurate, I should say. And the colors themselves are amazing. The purple, like being clear, shiny. I don't know what it is, but it's sick. The black and red. I mean, black and red and black and yellow are some of the best color combinations like ever. So him and uh, him and Ransack definitely stand out pretty damn well. Black and purple is pretty good too, obviously for Decepticons. But I actually think. <sighs> There is a, a way out with this guy. Now, um, looking at the directions, they tell you to plug it on here. Don't do that. <laughs> Just slot it on. But we got to put on the mutant head, which I'm just going to do right now. It's a little bit tough. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Snapped into place. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a clear pla uh Whatever metallic stuff this is the both head sockets are made out of so i don't want that to break so i won't transition them too much but oh unfortunately it looks a little bit squashed but man that is a cool scorpionock i love his mutant head he had the best mutant head ever i kind of wish it was used more also i didn't get the sandstorm very unlike me to not get a beast wars mold but i mean I wanted to because I'm like, okay, well, that's a cool head sculpt, but then I heard that we got this, and I'm like, okay, I don't need it because I don't like Sandstorm, and I don't like Night Prowler. Ah, oh, such a cool figure, really cool looking. Now let's compare him to the boy, Scorponok, everyone's least favorite character from Season 1, but hey, at least he looks cool. That's a cool pose. It's not even anything special. He just looks cool. And, uh, 
yeah, it's really nice to have a toy accurate Scorponokin. It's just been so much fun. Unfortunately, the first time I tried to add that on, I didn't, it was really hard to click into place and it felt loose. But once you plug it in, it's actually nice and solid. Yeah, so I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to take that head out anytime soon. <sighs> really cool. Also, he's got some cool things like you open up, I think it's this claw. Yep, you open up that claw. It has maximal logos on on it. Maybe it's like a you know the tanks do the put one symbol over your enemy for every one you take out kind of thing. Got no clue. I don't know why it's there. I'm sure there's a reason, and it's very nice and appreciated. So that is the buzzworthy Bumblebee Creatures Collide four pack. Especially right now, for the price of thirty dollars, this is a steal. You get four deluxes for like thirty-five, or forty dollars, but still, that's less than two deluxes right now. I mean, and even at full price, it's still pretty good. Unfortunately, there is a lot of reports of this line. Let me move this aside. This four pack having some QC issues with Skywops. Skywops. I said I did it again. Skywasp not plugging into place. Um, the gold bug issues, Scorponok himself, maybe even some minor ones with him. So do be on the lookout for that. It seems that there's a couple of mold degradations going on here, maybe. Maybe just bad distribution, bad QC overall with the exclusives. I have no idea what the fuck it is. But, I mean, nothing has been so bad that I have to return it or anything. So... I just realized I forgot to turn on the lighting. Let's turn that on. Does that look better? It's about the same. Let's just turn it back off. That's very professional of me. So, um... God damn it. I guess I'll talk about what I want to see from Buzzworthy Bumblebee from here on out. Well, I already talked about Hubcap and the Toy Accurate Bumblebee. Um, I would also like to see... They did the Cliff Jumper in Cup. Uh, Non-clear plastic... A little bit more accurate figures. I'd like to see that with Jazz and Ironhide, because those are great figures. But, well, a lot of people have issues with the Ironhide plugging it in. Although, if you saw my video, you know how to mitigate that. But the clear plastic does make it a little bit worse. Jazz really needs it. Like, my god, that thing fucking breaks. I mean, I, I had that thing for, like, less than three months and already massive crack when I got it. So now I just stopped touching it. But there's also two more Beast Wars figures. They did a... Toy Accurate Pterosaur and Dinobot, which I didn't get yet. But there is two figures that I want them to do. Ironically, one's a Voyager, one's a Deluxe. Show Accurate Air Razor, which is black, and Show Accurate Rhinox, who is brown and green. I mean, can you imagine how much better that mold would look if it was actually in Show Accurate colors? Man, it's just hard to imagine, but it's, I wish there was a good example. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm going to review him. It's actually going to be a scripted review. That one's going to be nice. So, yeah. Um, that's some stuff I want to see with Buzzworthy Bumblebee. But this is a good multi-pack. Now, are we going to get more? Probably. I don't know. Worlds Collide, Creatures Collide, Bots Collide. Probably something like that. Uh, so, what do you want to see with Buzzworthy Bumblebee? It's a fucking weird line. Basically, anything... As possible in this weird ass line. Um, let me get rid of that Rhinox. Oh, he's heavy as hell. Very nice, very nice figure. I was surprised. I thought that because of how cheap it was, I thought it was gonna be like really light and flimsy, but no, it's actually a little too tight. But yeah. Uh, happy Buzzworthy Bumblebee Day. Merry Christmas.